A new contract. Okay. I'm still on leave, but I can accompany you for a while. What name should I use on the contract? I have a great many names, though when on leave I tend to go by Zhongli. And you, Traveler, what name will you be signing on this contract? Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I have a few references. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across Liu tend to stay a while, so it is where many things come to settle. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Violet grass is a plant that enjoys a moist environment and is best picked after it rains. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately. We should look for a place to take shelter. I'll be fine, but we don't want you catching a cold. This weather is no good for being on vacation. We should go and take in an opera. I hope today, too, shall be prosperous. Want a quick meal to pick us back up? I know a good place in Chihu Rock. By this time of night, we will have already missed Miss Yoon's play. But Liyue is full of interesting places to explore, even at night. The market is closed, and the port has settled. Go get some rest. Nothing can be accomplished without rules or standards. No matter if it is mortals or adepti, everyone has their place. This rule is what keeps Liyue in peace. Gold is Liyue's treasure. It is the blood that runs through her heart. As for whether your own heart shines like gold, we will have to wait and see. You and I have a contract. So feel free to discuss anything at all within the scope of said contract. We can discuss matters that fall outside of our contract, too. After all, I have been on this land for a time, and have come to know a thing or two. Of course, I do hope you can do some things for me as well. That would only be fair. Contracts cannot be used to define friendship, nor measure sentiment. So just what can we use to measure the weight of our emotions? Do you know the answer, friend? Visions are also a type of contract. You should know that all power comes at a price. For every bit of power you gain, so too do you gain more responsibility. Trade relies on both contracts and fairness. There is one thing you must never forget when making and abiding by a contract. If fairness is lost, then the contract shall become proof of one's deception. If you're heading to Jueyun Karst, please bring me back a bunch of Qingxin. Just one bunch is enough. Travel expenses? Ah, I almost forgot. During the effective period of our contract, travel expenses are to be paid for by yourself. Sorry to bother you. You speak of the young Adeptus of Guili Plains. <sighs> Still fulfilling his duty to this very day. Please, give this Remedium Tertiorum to him on my behalf. Oh, yes. Be sure not to let Paimon eat them. Nothing of this world can withstand the power of this medicine. <sighs> it reeks of wine. That bard has just been through here, hasn't he? That drunkard is a disgrace to the arts. Oh... Has he tricked you into getting drunk? You're slurring a little. Wait a moment. I'll brew a pot of sobering tea. It'll be ready in only six hours, so just wait a moment. Despite the multitude of affairs that she deals with in a day, 
Mingguang always continues to press on. <laughs> A rare gem indeed. I'm reminded of the time that she used to walk barefoot from Yaoguang Shoal to the South Wharf, trying to sell her wares as she went. Time is cruel to humans. The current overseer of the funeral parlor? <clears throat> I cannot deal with that child. That rascal from Snezhnaya has yet to depart from Liyue? <laughs> no matter. Just let me know if he gives you any trouble. I shall deal with the matter swiftly. It's said that Child and his reputation have yet again stirred up waves among the inner ranks of the Fatui. Knowing his type, he will be sure to swiftly depose anyone who dares to challenge his actions. Hmm. Come to think of it, there will be a lot of interesting news to be heard the next time we gather for drinks. Care to join me when the time comes, traveler? Liyue's prosperity has not merely been built on Rex Lapis's oracles or wisdom. It is also thanks to the countless servants of the Geo Archon who have honored their end of the contract. Of them, Ganyu is the one who has served for the longest time. If you want to know about her past, <laughs> you should ask her about it. I fear my wording would not be delicate enough to receive her approval. She is the most impious of the Qixing, but I actually find the conviction of such people quite endearing. The only reason I was able to consider taking a step back from such overarching management of Liu was because there are people like her. People who speak up when they believe themselves to be right, and then go and do something decisive about it. Despite never having signed a contract with me, she upholds order within many strata of Liyue society in her own way, dispelling misconceptions and correcting biases. Should her father one day return from his travels, I imagine that he would be even more delighted than I. Why is it that once you finally get a break, rather than taking a rest, you instead come to me? Is it that you want to hear one of my stories? Have you heard of the origin of the Black Cliff Forge? In the past, they would mine the ore veins of Mount Tianhong, and then replace the cavities with factory equipment. Tunnels run in all directions throughout the mountain. Some even run to the ruins, deep within the earth. I doubt there is a person today who could map out all the tunnels. Have you heard of the origins of the Lantern Rite? In a war long ago, the people of Liyue would release lanterns to remind their soldiers of the way home, and to never lose sight of themselves. Though, in this day and age, I doubt there are any that remember. The God of Contracts. Have you heard of him? He has an impressive memory. He remembers the name of every person he comes across, and the date that every ship built in Liyue set sail. After all, only in being able to do so can he memorize all of the contracts he holds. With that said, not every memory is a happy one. For those that live too long, the friends of days gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. As such, I have no regrets in meeting you friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories. I enjoy partaking in walks through the city, when time permits. I find it very calming. Yes. Just when did this feeling begin? To get people to abide by a contract and act in accordance with the guidelines set out within is simply to ask them to respect the concept of fairness. It is not a large request. How are there those who still do not understand such simplicity? There was once a drink I used to enjoy with friends long ago. Is it because the climate has changed? Hmm. A shame I will never be able to relish in its smooth flavor again. 
I don't like seafood. Just seeing it reminds me of that slimy texture and that scent that just won't wash off. As for why I hate it, <sighs> it's a long story. So let's just say my memory is a little too good. Happy birthday. This is a dried glazed lily that came into bloom on the day of your birth. Long ago, the people of Liyue would say that this flower blooms bearing the weight of the beautiful memories and prayers of the land. I believe this to have applied on the day you were born as well. It seems my strength is returning. Not a lot, but enough. My power is growing, and so with it grows the burden on my body. I'm okay. My structure is not the same as that of normal people. Please, do not worry yourself. I see. Using a vision harnesses elements. As far as the common folk are concerned, this is no small feat. So, back then, they were aware of this as they stood beside me. After letting go of my gnosis, I never expected to see a day like this again. Thank you, friend. Ah, yes. I have a new contract here. Care to take a look at it together?